Hello, my name is Peter and I'm the owner of Caffeine here in Petrovia on Great Titchfield Street and East Castle Street. And today I want to have a bit of a talk to you about what happened in the six months before we opened, or approximately six months, uh, back in 2009. And so of course there's a lot of planning, a lot of preparation coming up in before that, business plan, going to the bank, getting the architects ready. Um, and I was working at the time at Lord's Cricket Ground and I was a staffing manager there. And the summer of 2009 was the biggest summer ever with the Ashes and the World One Day Cup. Sort of worked out that I knew the demographic of people that I wanted to come into my shop that I thought would be attracted to it. And I knew that was gonna be fashion, media, design, and advertising people. And you probably know my wife also works in the design industry too. In fact, she worked just down the road at the building you can see there on the corner for a design company called Brand Opus. And I was looking in areas like obviously Fitzrovia, Soho, Clerkenwell, Shoreditch, uh, Brick Lane area too. But her boss came back to her one day and said, hey, there's a shop down on Great Titchfield Street that's for rent. Why don't you go and have a look? And so I came down here and found this shop. The guy who was in here, he'd left in August 2008, but he was still paying rent. So I contacted the landlord's agent and he said, look, I can't do anything. He's left the building, but he's still paying rent. He still has the premises and off you go. So I said, okay, well, can you please contact him and tell him that I want to get into this premises and I want to take over the lease. Around that time, I went down to a fantastic coffee shop in Soho called Fernandes and Wells. And this was one of the original cafes in London that had fantastic food and amazing coffee. And I had a chat to the owner there called George. And what George said was, I said to him, basically, I want to open my own shop. I want to do it in Petrovia. And he said, have you got the keys yet? And I said, no. And he said, well, before you get the keys, get the architects in, get the architects to do all the drawings, get your builders in place. And then basically when you get the keys, you'll be able to start work straight away. And I said, okay, great. That's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to do it. And so I did. So in around April or May of 2009, got the architects in here. We got the builders into place. And eventually by July the 1st of 2009, I got the lease, got the keys. On July the 4th, the builders came in. In around uh, April or May of 2009, just after I'd signed up with the architects, I found out that my wife, or that we were having our first child. And I said to my wife, look, I haven't done anything yet. All I've done is pay money to the architects. We can stop this whole project. I can stay at the cricket club and we can be safe and secure. And she said, no, I want you to go ahead and do it. And so we did. My 40th birthday was on July the 29th. And basically I finished work on the Friday and I didn't sleep for about three days. Because all of a sudden it came to me, oh my God, what am I doing here? This is, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy. From July the 25th, up until the planned opening date of August the 14th. I was down here, I was working, I was planning, I was recruiting staff. I recruited one chef, two baristas, and one young lady to work part-time on service. And it was exactly on August the 14th that we opened our doors. And I invited down my wife and her uh, colleagues to come down for lunch. And I remember that basically I had two guys come in from who worked down the street and I said, today's all free, free coffee. And they said, no, we don't want to uh, have free coffee, we want to pay. And they gave me my first five pounds in cash. Back in those days, it was two pounds 20 for a flat white. And, and that was basically us getting to the point of opening. And it's almost like having a baby because you get to that point and then you open or you have the baby and then you have to deal with it. I'm going to tell you about that next time.